Abomination. 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 I can't even believe this. I can't even believe this. What is happening? Believe it or not, it's happened. Really happened in Imo State. You could not believe it. But let me salute my great people. Freedom fighters. My ear have food. Great people. Freedom fighters. Lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdi Okano, where we always set the record straight. My name's all Mazo Kinna Okichu, known as the Pierre French Child in Wachineke. The general abomination only in that contraption. You will hear such a thing happening or happened. Believe it. It's a true story. There is no fake about it. And some of you, I want you to understand this. This little girl, this girl, she is a 15 years old, a teenager. Her name is Shidera Amefula. She is from Ata. Umunam Njaba local government in Nemo State. They adopted this teenager with some people, up to six people. What I'm hearing today is something that I keep on asking myself. Where is humanity? Where is humanity in that contraption? Do you know that the security apparatus in that contraption, those people that are working with hope, those of them, do you know that these people have given this teenager a pregnant? Do you people know that this teenager now, she is a pregnant in police station where they kept them in Imo State? Could you people believe that this thing I'm telling you people, there is no lie about what I'm saying? Everything that I'm bringing to you people are authentic. And I hope you people know this girl very well. She is a 15 years old girl, a teenager for that matter. The police and army people have given this girl a pregnant. In police station where she is now, in prison where she is, they adopted the girl. We see other people. I will publish their name here after I done with the video. Then you go up there and see their names. They have pregnanted this 15 years old teenager. The police are after they came to our land, after they go to Imo State and they, you know destroy, kills, and maim. They will go back now to their barracks. Where they kept these girls. They will begin to molest them. They will begin to molest them to the stage that they have already given this little girl. A 15 years old, not 18. A 15 years old teenager have gotten pregnant by unknown person. By unknown person. Now you begin to understand that things are happening in that contraption. It's only you that have ear, we know. The day one Nigeria will happen to you, I swear. I'm telling you, you know, you will be crying, anyam, anyam, and there is no how you can never survive it. Just imagine a little girl of a teenager, a teenager. Where is the security apparatus in that contract? Where is the security agents? Where are they in that contraption? Now you see what they are doing to our young lady, our young girls and ladies whenever they adopt them. You see now, now this is an opening eyes to you all. You begin to see what kind of atrocity that the police and army are committing in that contraption every single day. Can somebody claim the responsibility of this pregnancy? Can somebody claim the responsibility of this pregnancy of a teenager, of a teenager 15 years old? United Nations, are you people listening?
European Union, are you people listening? European Parliament, where are you people? And all this atrocity is happening in that zoo called Nigeria. None of you want to say anything. African Union, those people, they have buy them off. European Parliament, where are you people? Amnesty International, where are you people? Are you people blind? If you people allow BBC, no news, nobody will see any news in that contraption. Where is BBC? Are they doing documentary? Are they? I, I want them to tell us who is responsible of a, a 15 years old teenager pregnancy. Can they tell us who is responsible? Is it hope? Who's on them? Now you begin to understand. They arrested this lady, this young girl. What is the lady? A young teenager, 15 years old girl. They arrested them with six or uh, other people. Now today, this small girl of 15 years now, she's a pregnant. She's pregnant by unknown person. Nobody knows. How will you know? After they will come to Imo State, after they will kill finish, and they will come back, begin to Razzle our girls. Razzle our young girls that they are still virgin. Razzling them to the extent that they gave the girl a pregnant. And now the girl is carrying a pregnancy. Can somebody tell us who gave this girl a pregnancy? Can somebody come to claim who is responsible of this pregnancy of a 15 years old Go a teenager for that matter. Arrow, arrow, man. Arrow, I'm going to Abomination have happened in police custody, in army custody. It's abomination. This one is in their custody. I don't know. Maybe young people understand what I'm saying. I want you to pay attention to this young lady, a very young small girl of 15 years old teenager, a 15 years old teenager. How to bago mo bre mo ti me? Ndi e ke na ndi ame. Far to bago mo bre mo ta di eighteen years, fifteen years me. My people, tell me now, who is going to? Who are they going to hold responsibility of this pregnancy? Who is the person that are going to take the charge of this pregnancy? All of them, no one, nobody. Because if I na wabo turn by turn. These people are doing turn by turn. Any person reach one year legal, only reach one year legal. Every day they have to go and bring water. The fifteen years in, if any na go and go call them right in Nigeria, bro. International, they can never listen to you people. Al Jazeera, nobody will listen to you people. CNN, there's nowhere to be found. BBC, this information and misinformation news, they have already run away. You people are in serious mess. Just look at a teenager, a 15 years old girl. Chidera Amwefula from Atan. 